students today we will learn a new topic for our 6 students class 6 students today's topic is water bodies this is the third chapter so let's start more than 97 percent of the earth's water is found in the oceans but it is too salty for human use only 3 percent is available as fresh water for human beings in this chapter we will learn about different water bodies in detail so let's start with ocean the huge water bodies on the surface of the earth are called oceans all the oceans of the world are interconnected with each other the five major oceans according to their size are pacific atlantic indian southern or arctic ocean and uh, sorry southern or antarctic ocean and the last one is arctic ocean now let's learn our first ocean that is pacific ocean so pacific ocean is the largest and the deepest ocean in the world and covers about one third of the total surface area of the earth it covers an area of about 118 million square kilometer the continents of asia australia north america and south america surround it this ocean is almost circular in shape the challenger deep which is the highest point on the earth's surface sorry which is the deepest point not highest i repeat deepest point the challenger deep is the deepest point on the earth's surface is located in this ocean okay which is in marina trench this ocean also has the maximum active volcanoes this circular chain of active volcanoes known as pacific ring of fire moving next atlantic ocean so it is the second largest ocean that is atlantic ocean it has many natural harbors and ports which makes it the busiest ocean from the point of commerce and trade it is roughly half the size of the ocean it is roughly half the size of pacific ocean the atlantic ocean is an elongated s shaped basin extending along north america and south america in the west and eurasia that is uh, europe and asia togetherly called as eurasia and africa in the east so i repeat in the pacific ocean we learn the shape of the ocean is circular whereas in atlantic we learn the shape of this ocean is s shaped and it is the busiest ocean and this ocean route is useful for commerce and trade purposes next the third ocean is indian ocean so it is the only ocean in the world which is named after a country it is the third largest ocean of the world covering approximately 20 percent of the water on the earth's surface the shape of this ocean is almost triangular to the north of indian ocean is the continent of asia to the west is africa and to the east is australia the arabian sea and the bay of bengal are two important parts of this ocean and remember it is the warmest ocean in the world moving next southern ocean or antarctic ocean it is the fourth largest ocean of the world earlier there were only four major oceans but in the year 2000 the international hydrographic um, organization added this southern ocean to the list of major oceans of the world it is the southernmost ocean of the world around the south pole it comprises of the southern portions of three ocean that is the southern portions of the atlantic ocean indian ocean and pacific ocean which lie beyond the antarctic circle from the southern ocean next arctic ocean the last ocean it is situated around the north pole and lies within the arctic circle it is surrounded by the northern parts of europe asia and north america it is the smallest and the shallowest of the five major oceans of the world the arctic ocean is connected with the pacific ocean by a narrow stretch of shallow water that is known as bering strait it is normally covered it is normally covered with ice throughout the year because it is in north pole and generally the north pole areas receive slanting sun rays so that's why it is covered with ice throughout the year so these are all the five major oceans uh, of the world now let's learn the next topic that is importance of ocean so oceans act as a natural links between continents they provide the the main means of transport trade and commerce between the various countries and continent remember 
the oceans connect all the continent and countries of the world they are a great source of petroleum natural gas salt minerals and chemicals ocean water is the main source of moisture or water vapor in the atmosphere that causes rainfall that means they affect the climate of the earth the presence of the oceans moderates the temperature in the coastal areas that is why the places near to the ocean experience moderate climate which is not too hot or not too cold they are a source of sea um, they, they are a source of seafoods like fish and other things some marine creatures uh, um, act or serve as a animal food and also as a fertilizer there are a storehouse of tidal energy the tides and waves can be harnessed to generate power or electricity so these is the important features of ocean